Hi, Zach. My name is Buddy Morris. I'm currently the head strength and conditioning coach of the Arizona Cardinals in the NFL. I really don't like to use the word strength and conditioning coach, so I'll use head coach of physical preparation. I actually started my career in 1980 at the University of Pittsburgh, where I was an undergraduate and was hired by then head coach Jackie Sherrill. I was one of the very first strength coaches ever hired in the United States uh, to occupy such a position at a major college. I stayed there from 1980 to 1990. In 1990, I decided to step away from coaching due to an illness to my oldest daughter. So from 90 to 97, I worked for a hospital running a sports medicine clinic and sports performance program. 1997, I got a call from a couple of people who had played at the University of Pittsburgh. Emo Bori, Jero Sasky, and Dan Marino all called me and asked me if I was willing to go back. I went back from 97 to 2001. 2001, I was called by the Cleveland Browns. So I went to the Cleveland Browns, my first stint in the NFL until 2004. 2004 to 2005 was a rough year. <clears throat> Sat around unemployed. Uh, wound up at the University of Buffalo. Literally went from the penthouse to the outhouse. Uh, there's 119 teams in Division One. University of Buffalo at the time was 119. So I, I know what it's like to be at the top of the mountain. I know what it's like to be so far under. You've got to spit dirt to see. Uh, after six months at University of Buffalo, the University of Pittsburgh, Coach Dave Wanstead called me and asked me to come back, at which time I did. Uh, I took my then wife, Monica, Monica, with me from Buffalo. <coughs> Went to the University of Pittsburgh, my last stint, which is my third time there. I turned on Iowa State, the Green Bay Packers, and Washington Redskins. Everybody asked me always, why did I turn those jobs down? My daughter Clara was in Pitts Nursing School, which means she had tuition waiver. So she was getting education for free. I did sign a three-year deal. After one year, we were let go uh, inadvertently. Sat around for two years, uh, collecting a contract. Went one year, opened up a performance center in Buffalo. Didn't really go that well, and then this past year I was called by Bruce Arians of the Arizona Cardinals and asked to join him back in the NFL, which is where I am currently at. great thing about my career is I've always been a gym rat. Uh, I've always worked out. It gives you the opportunity to do that. Uh, the great thing about Zach is I don't have to shave every day, don't have to brush my teeth, comb my hair, though my hair is gone. Uh, it, it's just it's just a different world being involved in sports and physical preparation that I really enjoy. Uh, the big thing is just watching people getting better, finding new and better ways, leaving no stone unturned to help find the most productive ways to train your athletes and help them get better. Boy, I've had a lot of great opportunities. Uh, my wife and I have been personally invited to uh, Curtis Martin and Dan Marino's uh, induction ceremony to the NFL Hall of Fame. Uh, I've had the opportunity to work with five guys who are in the NFL Hall of Fame. Uh, Jim Sweeney, Mark Stepnoski, Bill Frelick, Dan Marino, and guys who didn't make it to the NFL. Guys like Bill Beach, uh, Bill Wallace, uh, Bill, um, Bill, Mark Bailey. There's so many guys, and they're all enjoyable. They all had their pluses and minuses like we all do, uh, but at some point in time, they're all a big pain in my ass. Larry's a true professional. It is a true honor for me to work with Larry. Larry goes above and beyond just the world of the NFL. Uh, he's a true pro in every aspect of life. He's very generous in his time and giving to people. Uh, he, he's unbelievable in his craft, and he loves his craft. That's why Larry's the best. If you're going to be the best at something, you've got to be very passionate and you've got to understand there's a lot of time and effort and a lot of hours. It's what you do when nobody's watching that really matters, and Larry's a pro at that. The lack of security. Um, there is no security in our job. Like I said, I've been to the University of Pittsburgh three times, the Cleveland Browns. I've actually been to the University of Buffalo twice, once for six months, once for six weeks and with the Cleveland Browns and the Arizona Cardinals. Everything is based on winning. If you don't win, it doesn't matter how good you are. Uh, they're going to replace you. So, like I told my wife, my clock is always running. And that's the thing I really hate the most is the lack of security uh, in our profession. I'm, I'm going to tell everybody the same thing my mother told me when I was growing up. I don't care what you do, be the best at it. Be if you're going to be a garbage man, and that's no disrespect to garbage men. 
be the best garbage man you can be. Whatever you do, be passionate about it, work hard, be dedicated, and increase your knowledge about what you're doing. Show a passion for what you do. My mother told me that. That was ingrained in my brain I think from the time I came out of the womb to the time I graduated from college. Whatever you do, be the best at it. I read every day for one hour. Uh, I'm in a profession where everything is ongoing. The internet has caused information to double every 18 months in this country. To say you're old school, in my opinion, is an excuse for being lazy and dumb. It means you don't want to learn. Every day is a learning process. There's so much to understand and know about the human body. You can't know everything. I had Joel Jameson in here yesterday, who's one of the leading experts in this world on the development of the bioenergetic system, which are the energy systems that are that cause the body to perform external mechanical work. I had him in office yesterday for two hours just talking to him and grilling him with my staff about better ways to help our athletes perform or prepare from the bioenergetic standpoint.